Ever wondered why a mere 20% of your efforts yield 80% of your results? This is not mere coincidence, but a fascinating principle known as the Pareto Principle. Named after the Italian economist Vilfredo Pareto, this concept has a captivating history. Pareto first noticed this principle when he discovered that 20% of the pea pods in his garden were responsible for 80% of the peas. Fascinating, isn't it? This principle, also commonly known as the 80-20 rule, is a universal phenomenon that we see manifest in various aspects of our lives. It's a principle that states that a significant majority of outcomes, about 80%, come from a small minority of causes, about 20%. For instance, you might find that 20% of your work tasks contribute to 80% of your productivity. Intriguing, isn't it? But how does it work? The Pareto Principle isn't complex magic, it's a simple yet powerful concept. Now let's break it down into easy to understand steps. The Pareto Principle, also known as the 80-20 rule, is named after an Italian economist, Vilfredo Pareto. He observed back in the late 19th century that 80% of the land in Italy was owned by about 20% of the population. This observation led to the birth of a principle, a principle that transcends beyond land and wealth to virtually every aspect of our lives. Imagine a pie, a big delicious cherry pie, now cut this pie into five equal slices. According to the Pareto Principle, just one slice of this pie, that's 20% of the total, will give you 80% of the flavor, the satisfaction, the joy. The remaining four slices? They only account for the remaining 20%. Let's take this pie metaphor and apply it to other areas. In the world of business, it's often noted that 20% of customers account for 80% of the profits. In the realm of personal productivity, it's suggested that 20% of your efforts lead to 80% of your results. But remember, these percentages are not steadfast rules. They're more like guidelines, a way to understand the disproportionate relationship between inputs and outputs. The ratio could be 70-30, 90-10, or any other combination. The key point is that a small number of causes often lead to a large majority of the effects. Now you might be thinking, that's all very interesting, but what does it mean for me? Well, the Pareto Principle is not just a fascinating piece of trivia. It's a tool, a lens through which we can view and analyze the world around us. It's a way to identify the most significant elements in any situation, those that deliver the greatest impact. That's the Pareto Principle for you. But how does it apply to you? Stay tuned as we explore how this simple yet powerful concept can make a huge difference in your life. The Pareto Principle isn't just an economic theory, it's a principle that applies to almost everything in life. Let's start with a simple example. Imagine you're a student preparing for an exam. You have 10 chapters to study, but do you really need to devote equal time to each chapter? Not necessarily. The Pareto Principle suggests that roughly 80% of your exam questions might come from just 20% of your chapters. So you might want to focus more on those significant chapters. But the Pareto Principle isn't limited to academics. It extends to our daily lives as well. Think about your wardrobe. Do you wear all your clothes equally? Probably not. In fact, you might find that you wear about 20% of your clothes 80% of the time. You have your favorites, right? That's the Pareto Principle in action again. Even in the workplace, this principle holds true. If you're a manager, you might notice that 20% of your team members contribute to 80% of the team's results. Or if you're in sales, 20% of your clients may be responsible for 80% of your sales. The Pareto Principle also applies to time management. We often busy ourselves with numerous tasks, but are all these tasks equally important? Not quite. You might find that 20% of your tasks contribute to 80% of your progress or success. Hence, prioritizing these vital few tasks could boost your productivity significantly. Even our health and fitness are not exempted from the Pareto Principle. You might find that 20% of your fitness routines contribute to 80% of your health benefits. Or, in your diet, 20% of the food you eat might account for 80% of your nutritional intake. So, the Pareto Principle is everywhere. But what's the takeaway? The Pareto Principle reminds us that not all things are created equal. Some things are just more important than others. And by recognizing this, we can focus our efforts more effectively, leading to better results. Knowing about the Pareto Principle is one thing, leveraging it is another. So let's dive into how we can use this remarkable concept to boost our efficiency and productivity. Imagine you're a gardener with a hundred flowers to water, but here's the twist. 
Only 20 of these flowers give you the most beautiful blooms. According to the Pareto Principle, your time would be best spent focusing on these 20 flowers. The same principle applies across various aspects of life, from business to personal growth. In the business world, for example, it's often observed that 80% of a company's profits come from 20% of its customers. So, wouldn't it make sense to focus more resources on nurturing these profitable relationships? Absolutely. This doesn't mean neglecting the remaining 80%, but rather prioritizing resource allocation to maximize returns. Similarly, consider a student preparing for an exam. If 20% of the syllabus topics frequently make up 80% of the exam questions, it would be wise to focus more on those topics. Again, this doesn't suggest ignoring the rest of the syllabus, but rather understanding where the most impact can be made. The Pareto Principle encourages us to identify and concentrate on the 20% that yields the most results. It's about making smart decisions and allocating resources effectively. It's about understanding that not all efforts are created equal. Some tasks, customers, or study topics will yield more fruit than others, and those are the areas where our focus should lie. However, do remember, the Pareto Principle is a guideline, not a hard and fast rule. It's a tool to help us think more strategically about where we put our time and effort. It's about recognizing patterns and making more informed decisions based on those patterns. So, the next time you're faced with a task list as long as your arm, or a business decision that seems overwhelming, remember the Pareto Principle. Identify that critical 20% and give it the attention it deserves. That's how you can harness the power of the Pareto Principle. But let's summarize. The Pareto Principle, or the 80 20 rule, is more than just a fascinating concept. It's a powerful tool that, once understood and applied, can drastically change the way we approach tasks and set goals. Let's take a quick stroll down memory lane. The Pareto Principle was named after Vilfredo Pareto, an Italian economist who noticed a recurring pattern in wealth distribution. He found that about 80% of the land in Italy was owned by just 20% of the population. This 80-20 distribution was not unique to Italy or to wealth. It cropped up in various other areas and across different fields, leading to the formulation of the Pareto Principle. As we delve deeper into the workings of this principle, we understand that it's a simple yet efficient way of analyzing inputs and outputs. It suggests that 80% of the results or outcomes we get are derived from just 20% of our efforts or inputs. This isn't an exact science. It's more of a guideline, a rule of thumb. The ratios aren't always perfect 80-20 splits, but the underlying principle remains the same. A minority of causes leads to a majority of the results. Now imagine applying this principle in your daily life. Whether it's studying, working, or even cooking, the Pareto Principle can help you identify the most important 20% that contributes to 80% of your desired outcomes. Focusing on these critical tasks allows you to be more productive and efficient, providing a significant return on your investment of time and effort. Leveraging the Pareto Principle is all about prioritizing. It's about identifying the vital few from the trivial many. By focusing on the tasks that yield the most results, you can optimize your productivity and achieve your goals more effectively. With the Pareto Principle in your toolkit, you're set to achieve more with less. Remember, focus on the 20% that matters. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey through the Pareto Principle. We hope this principle, with its profound implications, will inspire you to look at your everyday life through a new lens. If you found this video insightful and want to learn more about such intriguing concepts, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and join the Abundant Insight community. Remember, knowledge is power, and by understanding principles like this, we can find better ways to navigate our world. We'd love to hear how you're planning to apply the Pareto Principle in your own life. Do you see any areas where the 80 20 rule might be at play? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments section below. Your insights could help others on their journey to improved productivity and success. And if you found this video valuable, don't keep it to yourself. Share it with your friends, family, or colleagues who might benefit from it. By spreading the word, you're helping to create a more informed, productive, and successful community. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Stay curious, stay informed, and we'll see you in the next video where we'll explore more fascinating concepts that can change the way we see and interact with the world. Until then, focus on the 20% that matters. Remember, it's not about being busy. It's about being productive. So here's to achieving more with less.